Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Judy is on her way out. And we are going to Starbucks today. Thanks to Jacob. Thank you so much, Jacob, for sponsoring. Good morning. Good morning. You're in. We're going to Starbucks. What happened? What are you looking at? I just look at my flowers. Oh, they look pretty. Now you gotta do some planting. Oh. Goodness, goodness. How is your bathroom coming along? Good. Good. I mean, what all needs to uh, get done still? Like, oh, okay. But he got all the tile in the shower. Good. And all of that. Oh, that's good. That's good making job. progress. And then. Good, good, okay. good. I know, but it's just such a mess. <laughs> I know, but <laughs> eventually it yep. will be cleaned up and yep. so, back to normal. How did it go? Um, what? Oh, the grooming? Yes. Very good. I was like, okay. Okay. <clears throat> they were extremely kind to me. Um, so... One of the things I noticed as to how I know that this is going to work out for me and for the dog is when I took the dog to the last new groomer, it took him about a good 48 hours to get him back to the way he was when I dropped him. Like, he's very sensitive and he was just acting not right, like, you know, for like a good 48 hours. When I picked him up and when we got home, he was acting the same as before. As always. As always. So I thought to myself, that bitch fucking did something to my dog. Because obviously he's not going to react like that. So I have the new groomers now. I am extremely happy. They did exactly what I had asked. Um... They took all the fur out of the paws of his feet. They, you know, like in between the, the little toes, everything, you know, face was perfect. And how um, long was he there? Two hours, two hours. So it wasn't bad perfect. at all. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't it's bad at so all. It's so convenient right here. And it's very convenient, so I'm thinking to myself, like, in the wintertime, if it snows, I won't have to worry about going on the highway yep. and, like, traveling. And, yeah, so it's oh, going good. to be very, very convenient for me. Good, 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 good. Yes, and they were very, very kind. Um, you know, got me in right away, so it was all good. Nice. I was very, very happy. So I can finally breathe about that because that's, like, you know... You know, yes. stressful yes. As, as, you know, it can be. Awesome. So I had an experience oh. last night with Mother Nature. With Mother Nature. Mother Nature came to my window. So every year the squirrels have babies in, the, in my tree. And this year, we were blessed with three baby squirrels. Now, they were breastfeeding probably a week or two ago. But I did notice that this last week, they were gallivanting around their tree. Um, I saw less of the mother, more of the three babies, and they all kind of stuck together. Oh, shit. I didn't order our Starbucks. Oh! <gasps> Oh no. Well, I'll just have to. Well, oh my God. Hold yes. on. We're back. I ordered Starbucks and I got gas. Here we go. Anyway, thank you so much, Jacob, for yes, sponsoring the you. Angel and Judy show. The Jacob Starbucks Jacob. is on Jacob. So, back to my nature story. Oh, yeah. So, the three squirrels up in the tree playing hadn't seen the mother for a while. They stopped breastfeeding, but they all three like hung out together, right? So last night I'm sitting in my chair and all of a sudden I see in the corner of my eye a ruckus and the babies just like scurrying. 
And I'm like, what the hell is going on? Like something is happening. And then all of a sudden at the same time, three crows came and were like, caw, caw, like alert, alert. And I'm like, okay, this is weird. So I look out the window and on my fence, I see this huge hawk, huge hawk. And I'm like, oh my God, it had nothing in its mouth or anything. It went back up into the tree and I believe one of the babies fell from the tree. And the at the, at the same time all this is happening, the crows are attacking the hawk. So it was very interesting to me that the hawk was trying to get the squirrel babies or the, yeah, but the crows were attacking the hawk. It was, it was almost like they were like wow. looking out for the babies and it was very bizarre to me. Um, hmm. and I, since then I have only seen one baby. I went out there because I did hear crying and I wasn't sure if that was the one baby that was crying or if it had gotten a hold of another one and dropped it to the ground and it was on the ground crying cause it was all on Jake's property. Oh, so I'm like, Oh, what is happening? So I looked to, to see like if I could see any baby or anything on the ground and I did I mean the things are like this big yeah. they're, they're really really tiny babies and I'm just like oh great so hopefully today I see at least two of them and not just the one because maybe the one was crying like where are my siblings I know and I felt so bad but the thing was huge and then the crows once the hawk like left and like because it didn't have anything in his mouth when it left but once it left, the crows went after it. Really? All three of them left and went after it. And I do know that crows will alert people if there's a coyote. Like if you're walking and you all of a sudden hear crows. Hold on. What is this? To a Thanks so much for stopping at Starbucks. My name is Morgan. How are you today? Great. I did um, an online order for Angela. For, for two, Angela? Yep, two coffees. All right, let's see up here. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, they say that if you're, like, in the wilderness and you're walking and all of a sudden you hear crows, that means that there's danger somewhere. Like, they do alert. But I was just like, oh, my God, this is so bizarre. Hmm. So I was, like, in the middle of a Mother Nature moment. It was so weird. weird. It, it was just very uncanny. Huh. Oh, my allergies are bothering me. Yes. I know. I've been sucks. sneezing a little bit. It sucks, sucks, sucks. Oh, this air quality is just... It is so bad. Everything is so hazy. Mm. And it's just a mess here. It really is. Dang fires. Is it supposed to be sunny today or is it supposed to rain or what's happening? Small chance of rain. It's supposed to be 82. Oh, that's not bad. And then the 70s the rest of the week. Okay. I did finally turn my air off. I turned the air off yesterday morning because I just, I couldn't stand it yeah. anymore. It was like, I can only have the air on for so long. And I feel like I'm only going to turn the air on when it reaches like... 88 or above with high humidity you know like that high 80 very very high 80s low 90s because then uh, i just can't take it uh, just to get the humidity uh, out a little bit i don't know just as like ugh. yeah but so what did you do this weekend oh what did i do this weekend um well, Friday, we got the last of the stuff that we wanted out of the house. Oh, good. Um, had a meeting. A meeting? Uh, oh, yeah. Um, Mark and I went up to Sturgeon Bay on Saturday. Ooh. A Sturgeon Bay moment. Yes. Well. What did you do there? We took a boat cruise of the lighthouses. Oh, fun. And then we just stayed at this place that had a tiki bar and live music and nice well you know it's it's, it's bittersweet with the house because right it's like good to be almost done but then but it's like it's, that's it yeah you know, like he has no he no has, other family no, 
Yeah. And then with the, our bathroom being worked on, you know, I mean, yeah, we have another bathroom, but like in and out, in and out, and then, you know, we can't really do anything to help them, so. Right. So. Hi, thank you so much. Could we get straws, too? Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Have a good one. So it was just kind of nice to get away. And right. We stopped on my way home. Did you stay over somewhere? Yeah. Oh, okay. Where did you stay? The Stone Harbor. <gasps> oh, the love of my life. I I'm love this stone. a little stone disappointed because I, I brought my suit because I was going to do my exercises and the outdoor pool was closed. <gasps> oh, I would have been pissed. I would have been so mad, Judy. I was, but there's nothing I could do about it. What about the inside pool? I didn't. Uh, it's not yeah. the same. I know. Um, oh, that's too bad. And then I stopped at uh, this florist or nursery on the way home in Green Bay uh -huh. and got some flowers. Good deal. So hopefully tomorrow I will. Yeah, see. Ooh. Thank you so much, Jacob. Jacob, Jacob cheers. cheers. Thank you so much. Oh. Starting our week out good. Um, I can't even think of the Let us of it. pray. Jesus, Heavenly Father, give us the strength for this upcoming week with the children and the co worker. Oh, Lord. Please, <laughs> please bless us in your holy light and let us have patience. Oh, I have patience. And. Holy tobacco. And bless us so that we don't have any care in moments. Amen. Oh. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Oh. Yeah, that coffee's strong today. Extremely. Even the time um. of Father. Yeah, I, I had to, you know, you get these little carts that you put all your flowers on. Yeah. I had to stop by because the cart was full. and. Oh, you bought flowers that actually goes into the ground. Yeah, flowers. I mean, I saw all your hanging baskets. They were beautiful. I bought four hanging baskets. I like the, what was it, purple and yellow or purple and white? Purple and yellow. I like that. Yeah. And then. I do, I do. Um, Did you get any peonies? I, but they have to be at the end of your property because they have too many ants. Well, you know. And I, I haven't even started my backyard. What if there's a way that you can, like, get the ants off of a peony? You know what I mean? Like, is there a way that you can rectify that situation? I, I, I'm not sure. And I wonder why ants are attracted to peonies. I was just what is it about a peony that attracts the ants? Is it the color? Is it the fragrance? I don't know. I don't know either. But I don't like it. Ants but are a nuisance. That's the pain in the butt. Yes. But, uh, yeah, so we got oh, my work cut out. But like I say, tomorrow was supposed to be cooler. Yeah. So. Good dealio, good dealio. The only thing is, is I can't. <clears throat> this is like, I still have to try like, to shovel, like to step on the shovel. Oh. In the hard oh, clay. But I will work it out. Look at that haze. I know, it's bad. Oh, it's horrid. It's and really this is bad. all because of the, the fires Canadian in Canada? Fires, yeah. Well, who the hell started that? Where's Smokey? Smokey the Bear. Who would have started that? Was it like a... I don't know. Because it was so dry? I honestly don't know. Somebody said that they toured those apartments and that they're really nice. Oh, I'm sure they are. Oh, I didn't notice that all those benches are painted. So the farmer's market starts this weekend. Oh. Ooh. First one. Let's go. Actually, 
on the first week like the first few weeks they barely have any produce well, cuz there's cuz nothing is ready yet i have to not be bought. gone to the farmers market in a while. i haven't either i just want like some big juicy tomatoes mm tomatoes. doesn't that sound good yes. on a fresh cut salad a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper no salt okay then a little bit of pepper. imitation salt no. pepper little bit of pepper what do I like some cucumber fresh cut cucumber cukes little bit of salmon or chicken mm. yes ma'am yes ma'am yeah, oh shit I forgot to take something over something damn it I know so did I but I have the creamy you guys have been creaming every day Every day the creamy has been coming out. Izzy got all her stuff for her creamy. She's having her first one today. Oh my god. I made a really good one. I made a I didn't have it yet, it's in the freezer. I did a pumpkin spice one. So I have pumpkin spice protein powder, almond milk nutmeg, cinnamon, cloves, and a little bit of sweetener, um, some cream cheese, or no, some cheesecake pudding mix, mix it all up, oh, and some real pumpkin, mm. it's going to taste like a pumpkin pie. Mm. Pumpkin pie ice cream. Ice cream. You oh, it's going to be interesting to see if we're busy today or not. I know. What do you think is going to happen? Okay, we Classes could. start today. Classes start. I don't, but I don't know what's being offered. I don't oh, remember. Slow down, lady. I don't remember what's being offered. I don't either. I don't know because does summer school start today too? Oh, wow, already? Well, well, I knew they were going to start it early. Getting Why it. is there no place to park, Judy? What are all these people doing here? Are we late? Not really. What the heck? There's no parking. They're all... What the heck? Oh, my God. There's uh... one parking stall over there. <laughs> one. That's crazy. It is nuts, man. Huh. Why is that? I wonder. Busy day. Busy day. Busy day. Oh. We just got the oh. iced uh, um, amaretto. Americano. Americano. Iced Americano. And it's a strong. It's getting our. going to start our engines. That's for it's sure. Very strong today. Well, yeah, I don't know what to expect because a lot of people said that they're not, that they're done until fall. Right. I know. I was listening when sure. you were asking people and yeah. Oh, <gasps> what's yeah. that? What's what? Is that a new phone? No. Oh. My the case broke. My... So that's a new case? No. Why does it look weird? Because it did. It looks different to me. Because part of it, never mind. We are getting new phones though. Okay. Okay, guys. I just don't know when. I'm going to so. go. Oh, me too. Everyone <laughs> Everyone, have a great day, a great Monday. <coughs> thank you so much, Jacob, for sponsoring yes, the Angela you. and Judy Show. If anyone is interested in sponsoring the Angela and Judy Show, it's Angela our Cash App and Judy Show and Venmo are listed down below, and we will give you guys a shout out. Shout out. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Oh, dear.